All right, folks, today is an interesting video. We got a small, small battle going on. Gimbal versus handheld shoot. Yes, I want to see if you can tell the difference between the two sequences. And we're also going to take a look at my secret weapon to getting super smooth gimbal looking shots with a handheld rig. Yes, all this is coming up, so here we go. So as I said, we got a small handheld versus gimbal battle going on and the rig we are using today is my S1H with a cage and a monitor on top. On the other side we have my Shuin Weeble S with a GH5 sitting right on there. So the reason why I want to do this is because I get a lot of questions about what settings I use, how do I get the smoothest footage when I use a gimbal and that is all good. but. A lot of the times I use my camera only to get really good shots and I can do that because I practice the moves that I do a lot and the same same applies when you're gonna use a gimbal you have to practice the moves before you can get really good smooth footage if you just stick your camera on there and go out and shoot wirelessly you won't get any good shots so it's all about practicing the techniques that lies behind getting smooth footage. So let's do the battle. And I want you to comment down below and tell me if you could tell which one is the handheld rig and which one is the gimbal. So let's play the first clip and see how it goes. Here we go. So that was the first sequence. If you already know, think you know what it is, put it down into the comments. But the next one will be right here. Alright, so I find this very interesting. If I did not know which one was the handheld and which one was the gimbal, I probably couldn't tell. But there is one shot in there that might reveal which one is the gimbal and which one is the handheld. But if you already know, put it down in the comments what you think it is. And let's just see it again and I'll put on, <laughs> on the clips which one is handheld and which one is the gimbal shots. Here we go. So the first sequence you saw was shot on my S1H, just doing super smooth pans, push-ins and stuff like that. I used a little bit of foreground uh, to tell the small story. Yes, and the second one was the gimbal and the clip that I was talking about that might could have blown it off that this was the gimbal was the rotation shot. It was pretty hard to pull off in the car because I had to stand on the side and kind of do the roll in the vortex mode. Where on the, um, with the handheld rig, it was pretty easy for me just to focus on the subject and go back and forward. So as you see, sometimes you don't have to use a gimbal. So before you go to a shoot, bring the gear you need and then decide what shots are going to be handheld shots and what shots are going to be gimbal shots. And there is some advantages with a handheld rig. You got everything here, you got the camera, you can control everything, and you can use your body to, <laughs> to do the movements. And with the gimbal, it kind of applies the same way. If you don't use your body to, to move around, your, 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 your footage will be shaky and shitty. So practice the moves, practice your technique and your workflow, you'll get much better results with a handheld rig and with a gimbal. So as I told you, we're going to take a look at my 
secret weapon to getting um, super smooth handheld shots. So I'll just get it right now. All right, this is it. The Segway Mini Pro. Yes, it is amazing for so many things. I bring this guy on each and every shoot. And I'll just show you a clip from a couple of days ago where I'm using the S1H and following a guy on this one and into a car. And it kind of looks like it's on a gimbal, but I'm actually only holding the camera super steady and rolling along on this one. So yeah, here we go. So as you see, it's super smooth, looks pretty great, and there ain't any camera shake in there or anything like that. So that could, be an, could have been done on a gimbal, but I used my Segway because I knew that I was going to keep shooting handheld shots. All right, let's just get the gimbal back. So I'm not saying that you should go out and sell your gimbal or not buy a gimbal or anything like that, because a gimbal is a great tool for certain <clears throat> shots. And I use the Segway because I think it is an amazing tool to keep shooting with my handheld rig and also for my guide cam and my gimbal work. I also use the Segway Mini Pro because it stabilizes the up and down movement, which is the most hard uh, axis to, to, uh, to keep stable because that is yourself. So when you're walking, you have to practice the smooth walk. But with these set of wheels, that is out of the question. All you have to think of now is to get the wheels to be, be an ex extension of you and you can just focus on getting the shot without any up and down movements. So the Segway Mini Pro is a, is a magnificent tool. And yeah, let me just take it up again. So the version that I got of the Mini Minibot Segway Pro, as the Minibot Pro Segway, I don't know what it's called. But there's one thing that annoyed me a lot is that lean back thing it has. So it can kind of have a stop to the top speed, which is 10 miles an hour, I think, or 17 kilometers. When you reach that limit, it kind of leans back and says beep, 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 which is pretty annoying. So you can't use it for transport because you kind of just go 17 kilometers, kilometers per hour and just relax. You have to just keep bouncing forward and backward. But I found a guy who could fix that issue. He changed out the motherboard. That beeping still comes sometimes, but the lean back is gone. So now I can just relax and go full speed, uh, 17 kilometers per hour. He also showed me his uh, off-road tires, which I'm gonna install as well. I get bigger tires because one of these actually punctured uh, during a shoot. In the woods, yes, this one is flat, so I have to keep pumping this. So I get bigger tires, bigger fenders, and it'll be a great tool. It also goes a bit faster then. So this is the Mini Segway Pro, the Minibot Segway Pro. Pretty cool tools for both gimbal and handheld shots. All right, so that is today's video. Please remember to comment down below. I want to see if you could tell the difference between the two shots. And of course, if you got any questions at all, just fire on and I will answer as good as I can. If you want to see my Shoe & Weeble S series, I'll link it down here below. And if you got a gimbal, a Shoe & Weeble S, remember to upgrade it. You can go back to see my previous video about how to upgrade it or how to downgrade it. And you can also download all the firmwares. I got links in the description for all that. And of course, if this is the first time you're here, I appreciate it. And remember to subscribe because it helps me grow this channel. All right, friends, that is it. If you can, go out and shoot some dope videos, handheld or gimbal, it doesn't even matter. Just stay creative and yeah, see you next time. Bye. Oh yeah, check this little guy out. Came in the mail this morning, super dope little thing, especially now in these corona times. I can grab handles, I can push buttons, don't have to touch it with my fingers, and it just clips onto my belt.
on my trousers. I can put it in my pants, uh, my pocket, anything like that. Super dope little thing. I think it's called Sanitize. And of course, it's a Danish design. Great job, guys. Like it.